Today on the channel, Thundercats, Super 7 Thundercats, Mumra, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another unboxing video. And today we got something special. We got a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. So if you're looking for this, Big Bad Toy Store is your only place. And if you're going to buy it, go through the link in the description below. Support the channel. But very cool, Big Bad Toy Store getting a one-off Super 7 Thundercats figure. Uh, basically a repainted figure as this is uh, the Mumra we got in series one however it glows in the dark with a few other changes I've been told but we'll see when we open it up but very cool to get another Thundercats figure and this was a very very much so a sleeper figure as it was not announced we didn't know this was uh, being planned or anything and then I want to say it was maybe December that uh, it went up on Big Bad Toy Store's website for January shipping and that's where I ended up getting it but very cool, because Super 7, you guys know, it usually takes a year to a year and a half to get the figures from them. So to get this, to be able to pre-order it in December and get it in January, was pretty awesome. It was a pretty cool feat, so there it is, and there's that. There's a little backstory on this Mumra. Like I said, it's a repainted one from the Series 1 Mumra. So it wasn't reinventing the wheel uh, at all. But I'm not sure how limited these are. They never said. Uh, probably a far cry from the Thunder Tank, which we're seeing between $450 to $500 for that Thunder Tank. Uh, we got a couple of months to pre-order that one, and then we'll see where that ends up. I'm still deciding, still working on what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm sure I'll get it. I'm just trying to decide where I'll get it from and all that kind of fun stuff. But answers soon to the channel. But let's talk about this glow-in-the-dark Mumra figure. First off, let's show the brown packing box for the Super 7 figure. As you guys know, all Super 7 Ultimate figures come in this nice brown outside box. We saw it with uh, their He-Man figures. We see it with their wrestling figures. Uh, all figures that are Ultimates come in this. Uh, you want to save this box. I'm probably not telling you guys anything you don't know. But uh, collectors, if you're going to resell this, whatever, you want to be able to save this box and have this. Same with this box over here. Just makes sense with these ultimates. These are high dollar figures. You want to make sure you save all this kind of stuff just in case for a rainy day, like I always say. So there it is. Let's take a look here. Take a look at the packaging. I mean, nothing too special. It's a cardboard box. Nothing, 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 nothing is what it is. But just thought I'd point that out. It does come in this nice protective. So when you get this from Big Bad Toy Store, you got this inside of this that's inside of another box. Uh, very well protected. You're not going to have any issues in shipping, that's for sure. See you later. All right, let's get to the main event here now, though. Uh, this is a very cool, you know, the Ultimate Editions, uh, Andre the Giant, the wrestling figures, uh, Super 7, they do it the same packaging. Uniformity is key. Very cool. I'm not sure if there's a lot of people like me that are buying all these different lines. I'm sure there's some, but the majority probably stick to one or two lines. But at least the boxes are all in uniform. I'm sure that saves them money. And it's really cool for a company to have the same packaging across the board. That's something you're never going to see from uh, Mattel, Hasbro, Jazzwares, so forth, so forth. Uh, there's usually different teams that work on different lines where Super 7's all pretty much in-house. Still a small company, and that's uh, why they can do a lot of the cool things that Mattel and Hasbro can't do. Uh, because they're smaller but being smaller it also has those issues of you know taking longer for orders and you know the money is a lot tighter and all that kind of fun stuff like any small business but uh we gotta be thankful for super seven i give them a little bit of grief every once in a while about hey tell us it's gonna be a year and a half and then surprise if it's early that's my big one but i gotta say they do put out phenomenal product and when things go wrong like that last ultimate edition uh, thundercat series one with some of the screw-ups they had there they're making it right and they're sending a fix pack out. So uh, we'll give them props when deserved. And, you know, I, I don't want them to go under for sure. Uh, they're putting out good product for us. So uh, nobody else would take the Thundercats line. They stepped up to the plate. So thank you, Super 7. But let's look at this Ultimate. So we're used to this packaging, but it's got like a, a red sheen to it, uh, a glow. If you put your hands on this uh, packaging too much, you're going to get fingerprints all over it. Uh, there's that Thundercats logo, but it's very, very cool packaging on this one. Uh, nothing up top, a little that below, but then like all Ultimate Editions, they open up very cool. You just pull the slide top off. Like I said, you want to save this, keep this all nice. But there it is. You pull that right off and it comes loose. See you later on the floor. 
And then you get the actual packaging for the Mumra there. Very cool. Uh, same stuff we saw before, but we'll take a look and we'll compare the two. But you got Thundercats logo down below. You got the nice uh, packaging there, nice window box. Nothing on the side, nothing on the side, nothing on the top. A little legal fun and UPC on the bottom. And then, of course, you got the back. Thundercats logos and the little graphics there. So there we have it. Very, very cool. So now I'm going to open this bad boy. I'm going to immediately devalue this product. Hate to do it, but it must be done for science. I'm like a young Mr. Wizard. We talk about it a lot. I uh, always hate getting this top one out because I'm always scared I'm going to rip the packaging on it. It's a, definitely a science. There we go. I got it. You got to be careful. Uh, there's nothing worse than just ripping this cardboard here. Oh, horrible. Uh, I came close to doing it. I think it was the Andre the Giant one. I think I almost did that on. There you go. No background, no nothing there. That's all right. See you later. I'm trying to be nice to these boxes. All right. Then we got the other shell. Whoa. We're losing some stuff. And then there's the fancy background. So there you go. Getting there. Now this is the backing back plastic. This is the soft goods cape, which we've seen before. Very Red Riding Hood, a little Red Riding Hood-esque. Very cool soft goods with wire so you can do what you want with it. Got two extra hands and his uh, staff. Very cool staff, menacing, nothing like a scary cow. The nice thing about this packaging too, I always save my extra hands and stuff I don't use. I just put them back in here and there. Instead of having baggies for these, I'm keeping the boxes anyways. I'll keep them all in there. That seems to be the best way to go. How about a little plastic prison? There it is. All the same accessories I believe we saw last time with the glow-in-the-dark uh, gimmick to them. I mean, glow-in-the-dark truly is a gimmick. We've seen uh, Mattel use it recently with the Undertaker, Scare Glow. Uh, we've seen lots of figures use it over the years. Pop this out. I I'm going to tell you right now, if you're only getting one Mumra, this isn't the one to get. You want to get the original one. This is just kind of a neat extra uh, out there. I mean, that's what it is. It's not uh, your go-to Mumra figure. It shouldn't be, at least. But I guess uh, you guys tell me if you're any different. Um, but yeah, same accessories we saw. We've got the extra head. We've got the medallion, uh, the book, the Book of Omens, all that fun stuff. So we've seen this stuff before. But let's look at this figure. So we got the plastic cape on. Uh, if you guys remember my review of Thundercats Series 1, I kept the plastic cape on Mumra. I didn't use the wire soft goods it just didn't look as good to me however with this one now that i have two i'll probably do the exact opposite on this one that i did the other one give a little bit of point of difference besides just the glowing effect on the shelf uh that's the way i would do it you guys tell me if i should do something different but uh without the glow in the dark parts he looks uh just dirty kind of a little bit more menacing i guess you would say uh that's that's how i view it but it's very solid. I, I really do like this figure. Uh, Mumra, for me, I love the big, monstrous Mumra best by far. But uh, this one isn't terrible um, as far as uh, kind of I can be pushed around Mumra. Old, decrepit Mumra is what I've always kind of uh, viewed this one as. Uh, like I said, he has extra heads, so I'll put one head on one, one head on the other. Um, but yeah, he's a lot more dirtier, more mummy-esque without the blue hands, the blue face and stuff that we're used to with the regular Mumra. So this looks more like your traditional mummies you think of. When you think mummy, this is what I think of uh, compared to the other one. But uh, that's how he looks. Uh, just a little bit dirtiness to him. Kind of a blue hue in there. Uh, I'm going to cake this guy under some lights. Obviously, I can't do that right now under all this. But uh, for some of the side uh, pictures that we'll have here, I'll put some glow-in-the-dark ones. I'll get him all charged up under the lights, and you'll see what he looks like. Uh glowing as, as for lack of better terms um so very cool um this head i don't think so i got my other mum right here i thought i better pull that out so i used the open mouth head on this one so that means i'll use this closed mouth on here but here's that original mumra the one we opened already very solid you, you gotta have this one i guess if you have to have one mumra though like i said it's gonna be the one, upcoming one the larger monstrous size mumra that's the favorite mumra of probably everybody out there but if you're a completist and you're a little bit more than a casual Thundercats collector you definitely want this regular edition Mumra I don't know if I'll use this cape or not I usually prefer soft goods I'm usually a soft goods guy in almost every figure line except for a few and this Thundercats one was one of those uh, for some reason I just I don't know I just don't like soft goods on this just something something's off for me I don't know what it is 
There it is. Pop it in. I don't know. I don't know. Something about it just doesn't look as fun in soft goods. You guys tell me, I guess, you can compare the two. Something about the plastic goods just make it work better for me. I, I don't know. That's just me. But there you go. There you have it. A very, very cool figure. We don't get surprises like this from Super 7. This is actually the first time I can remember, at least of the lines I collect, where they announce something basically in December, and bam, month, two months later, it's uh, up for buying. And you can get this at Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure. I haven't looked lately if it's sold out. Uh, it's probably about your $45 price point, typical of all these Ultimate Editions. But this is one of those ones that's going to be a sleeper and going to be a high dollar figure, you know, a couple years from now, when people are trying to go back and collect stuff. Uh, the Super 7 stuff's always... Uh, grows in value in the secondary market uh, because of the limited shelf span. It's got to be pre-ordered and they only make so many and stuff like that. So it always is worth more down the line. But something like this that's even more limited as it went only to Big Bad Toy Store, uh, this is going to be a pricey, heavy dollar figure one day. So if you're even remotely on the fence about picking one of these up, I would do it now. Uh, use my link below. Like I said, Big Bad Toy Store. Hopefully it's still there. It very possibly could be gone forever. But uh, if it's still there, that'd be a wise investment. If you're into investing on your figures, this would be a big one to invest in. Because I do think this thing will probably triple its value, if not more, in the next year or two. Uh, the way things go in this day and age. There you have it. There's Mumra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments. Did you pick these guys up? Did you pick one or the other? Did you not get in on time? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. You're already here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The, for no other reason, stay tuned to find out, did Kyle pre-order the Thunder Tank? You know I'm going to have Thundercat Series 2 when those come through the door, hopefully in the next month or two, fingers crossed. I'll be unboxing those bad boys on the channel as well. And go back and find my old Thundercats review of Series 1 Ultimates. Uh, a lot of Thundercat stuff. It's one of my favorite lines. It's a line as a kid I didn't get into. Uh, you had to pick and choose when you were a little kid. I don't have to pick and choose as much as I used to. So I'm all in on the Thundercats. I'm going to keep going with and see how long it goes for. Hopefully we get all the ones we want. Uh, time will tell. So stay tuned to the channel. Best way to do that is subscribe and follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And like I said, on Instagram, uh, below the Get your very own see you later t shirt support the channel. Hit the old Big Bad Toy Store link below. And that's it. For Mumra, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.